everyone, today I'm working on a furniture flip, taking a beat up old piece of furniture, fixing it up, painting it, and then turning around and selling it. And I'm gonna show you what you can realistically expect to spend both in time and money to take on a project like this. Now, I'm already off to a good start because this was given to me free. Someone was throwing it away, and obviously the less you spend on the back end, the more profitable it's going to be. But there's a reason why it's free. If you take a look at it, you'll see that it's not only missing the drawer knobs and handles, it's actually missing the entire back portion of this drawer. And the sides, they're all rotted from some sort of water damage. But if you look past the ugly, you can see all the potential. I actually love this piece. I love the detail. I especially love the legs. So I'm already picturing this all dolled up in a little girl's room. Going into this, I already knew I was going to have to replace the portions that are rotted. But now as I take a look at just how I'm going to do that, I realize it's gonna be a lot more work than I thought. First, I was hoping I could just remove these side panels, use them as a template, and then just cut out new ones. But now as I take a look at the way this was constructed, I know that when I remove these side panels, this whole thing is just gonna collapse. So now it's on to plan B. I'm basically going to take everything apart piece by piece and then put it all back together again. It's gonna be a lot more work, but at least it'll be better and stronger in the end. Clearly I was in way over my head with this one, but fortunately my husband came to the rescue and did all the major cutting and routing and things I couldn't do while I took on some of the smaller stuff. But you can see we put it all back together and it's sturdier than ever. We replaced the sides that had been rotted. We now have a new back where it didn't even have one before. And we even put some wood on the bottom where it had cardboard before. So as far as materials, you're looking at about $24. And time spent, we're now up to 15 hours. But now we move on to the part that I like, and that's the sanding and the painting. Now before we do this, I'm going to be filling in any cracks and gouges with wood putty. I'm even going to fill in these holes where the drawer handles once went because I want them all to be knobs and I want them to all be uniform. I'm even going to be filling in this one because as you can see, it's off center and I want it right there. So I'm gonna start by just filling this in. The sanding and painting took another eight hours, but you can see it's all done now. As far as costs, I spent another $4 on a little container of wood putty. I bought a quart of pink paint that already had primer in it for $15. And then I found these little knobs at Michael's for just $2 a piece. I was able to save a little money by using this black and white paint I had left over from another project. So total cost for this was about $55. Now as far as time spent, it was a total of 23 hours spread out over the course of several days. So it was a lot of time. Now realistically, uh, if I sell something like this, I can expect to make about $150. So you can see where it's not a whole lot of profit considering how much went into it. Fortunately for me, it is a labor of love and I really do it for the joy. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Be sure to check out my other posts on Facebook and on murals by Thanks for watching.